Tip number five. When you have two resistors in parallel, the equivalent resistor is equal to the product of the two resistors divided by their sum. When you have two resistors in series, it's easy to calculate the equivalent resistor, right? So R equivalent is R1 plus R2. So you can do it mentally. It's very easy. But when they're in parallel, the formula given by actually the combination of laws of Kirchhoff allow you to find that the R equivalent, the inverse of the R equivalent, is equal to the sum of the inverse of the two resistors in parallel. Well, that's fine. But when you want to calculate quickly, it can be a hurdle. And I'm sure, because I did a mistake often, and all my students do that too, when you calculate that, then you forget to flip back the equivalent resistance to flip it back to normal. So then you make mistakes. So I'm going to show you a way to prevent that. I'm going to prove it to you, actually. I have one on our equivalent equals, well, if I multiply R2 on both up and down sides, and I do the same with R1 on this one, R1 on R1, R2, I can add them. It gives me R1 plus R2 on R1, R2. So now I flip to find R equivalent, and I get R1, R2 on R1 plus R2. Well, that gives me product divided by sum. That is very practical. I'm going to show you why. Imagine you have a res equivalent resistance like this to calculate. Say, you've got three here, and then here you have, say, four and six. And you need to find the equivalent resistance. So normally you would find first the equivalent resistance of this, so one fourth plus one six, sum this, then flip. And then with this value, you would need to add it to three. So there's many operations. Well, I can tell you, look, six by four, 24, divided by six plus four, 10, so it's 2.4 plus three. The R equivalent is 5.4 ohms. How did I do that? Well, easy. I'll show you. My R equivalent is going to be equal to 3 plus 6 by 4 by 6 plus 4. So 3 plus 24 divided by 10. So that's 2.4, 5.4. So this is very practical to calculate the equivalent resistance. Why is it important to calculate the equivalent resistance? It's because usually in a circuit with resistors, when you have one generator, it's a good idea to calculate the equivalent resistance to get the general current. But we'll discuss this in another video where I'll show you some very easy ways to solve circuits fast. Ciao.